Salut mes amis, je suis Luca Torilli de Rhapsody et vous allez enjoy TV Rock Live About the split, I can tell you that uh, it was something very rare, I think, uh, into this business because it was something made totally on a friendly basis between me and Alex, I mean, we are friends since the uh, time of uh, school, <laughs> since the school time. Let's say this thing happened because uh, in the end uh, we didn't have fun anymore composing together. And so I think this was the best thing. Uh, this was something that uh, we were already speaking about many years ago. We are so friends of each other that we didn't want anyone to have a disadvantage uh, going on. I could have gone uh, me, on as a Rhapsody of Fire, or people that call themselves Rhapsody of Fire, or so whatever, no? Um, but in the end, uh, we felt this was the best division, no? Me with a new Rhapsody band, and uh, him as a Rhapsody of Fire, but just because he wanted to go with Fabio, and so Fabio is really much of Rhapsody of Fire, and that's it, and it's just right, right and correct label, you know? Uh, so now it's just amazing because we have two actual bands, some bands for one band, some bands we prefer another, some fans a lot we like both, and this is just great, no? The saga ended, and thanks to this fact I had the possibility to do, to extend my compositive possibilities possibilities of composition, no? introducing modern elements. And this is something I really missed, I have to be honest. It was important to have different possibilities to express in different ways. And I think for every composer, me more, more than a guitar player, me always consider myself a composer, not a good guitar player. I want to focus 24 hours per day only on Rhapsody. This is very important for me. And inside Rhapsody, I can compose whatever I want. But uh, it's anyway a kind of mission, spiritual mission in the end. And so the people get this. You know? Even if two people only, it doesn't matter. It can be 1,000, 200,000. But uh, when this is reached by the people, then you have this back. And the, these letters that I receive, uh, this is something that is the most precious thing. So if I would have stopped Rhapsody to dedicate myself just to soundtrack and all, I would have feel the disconnection with this reality and this kind of mission would have lost. So I wouldn't miss it because they need it, but me need it too. We need it as band. So that was the thing to do. So I'm very proud to have decided to go on with Rhapsody. But uh, I remember there was Fabio, and he advised to me this Alessandro Conti. He told me, for sure you will like this style, no? And when I went to listen, I thought, ah, this is really Halloween, old Halloween style, no? I was amazed, no? And then in other songs, more of tenor, singing as tenor, because he studied in this uh, chorale lyrical scene in Italia, and this was a big surprise for me, no? I was very happy because I thought, wow, well, then I can use him in a lot of different uh, ways. So an artist has to make the music before for himself. This album for me was a comeback. It was a, I wanted to, to have a totally cinematic, you know, because this was the reason why I found the direction with Alex uh, in 1993 and this was the, from where I wanted to restart. Uh, will be probably because I wanted to become a soundtrack composer, you know? but at the same time I love heavy metal, so what is the best for me? Just to, to, to go with this Rhapsody band. Why I like to associate the music with the movies? Because the movies give me the inspiration for the music. So this was always in the beginning with Rhapsody, thanks to movies like Conan, that we like at that time, Braveheart. Now with movies like Transformers, Evil, Evil, whatever. No, so a lot of horror movies. I like this adrenaline. I, I love to be emotion. You know? uh, for me, also through my music, I try to create hymns to the. Um, to let understand people that every day that they live on this planet, is, is, every breath is a miracle. And this is what many people forget, you know, when they face the little problem of the daily life. So this is what I try to make with, with this music, this is what Rhapsody is about.
2012. Get ready.